guys, Kaz here and today I'm doing what I hope to be the first episode in a ongoing series called No Offence. Let's just get that out of the way first. I wanted to title these No Offence because on booktube we have a tendency to feel like we need to give massive disclaimers before we have any sort of opinion on anything but I figure we're all adults here potentially, there might be some kids, but we're all here to enjoy books. Whatever I say in these videos is meant as no offence, it's just my opinion and I would love to chat with everybody to see whether they agree or disagree or any opinions. So yes, no offence meant. Not gonna lie, I do have my uh, what a bunch of pricks mug, but that's not because I'm spilling any tea, that's because I'm English and tea is sustenance. Not gonna lie, that whole bit was just for gag purposes. I'm not even drinking tea, I'm drinking pink Vimto. So yeah, today is episode one of a series. I've had this idea for months and months to the point where several of my discussions are obsolete now because nobody cares, because I didn't get around to filming them. But I thought I would start with something that I've never seen anybody actually talk about, but it's something that I want to talk about. And that is whether trigger warnings are spoilers. Now, first of all, obviously, let's just go into what trigger warnings are, what they're there for. So. The whole point of trigger warnings is so people that have gone through something or that don't want to read about something can find out beforehand whether it is in a book and then decide whether to read that book or to stay away from the book. So for example, if somebody has an ongoing battle with an eating disorder or have somehow dealt with suicide, then they can find out beforehand and stay away from the book or if they're feeling up to it, read the book. And obviously I'm all for that. If you follow me on Goodreads, you'll see that I always put my trigger warnings there. But I always put them under spoiler headers. And that is where I'm going to be going in this video. So I'm sure we can all agree that it's important for vulnerable people to know that certain things are in books so they can stay away from it for their own mental health reasons or just because they don't want to read about certain things. So obviously I'm all for trigger warnings to let people know. But there comes to a certain line where you wonder when does a trigger warning become a spoiler? What about the people that don't want to know? Is there any way that we can help out both of these people? So everybody gets the same opportunity to be able to enjoy a book, whether they want to enjoy it by reading it and not knowing anything about it and getting surprised and getting upset maybe if they want to get upset. I'm a big crier in books. Or just getting all the information as they're reading it. Or whether they want to enjoy it going into it knowing that there's certain aspects there that are going to be potentially harmful for them but they've decided to read it or enjoy it by completely staying away from the book because they know that there are certain things in there that they don't want to read about. I feel like everybody should have the opportunity to be able to go into a book knowing and not knowing certain aspects. Does knowing certain things impact the story for people? Is there a secret or a twist ruined if you know something that's potentially triggering? Is it gonna dampen your emotional impact that a book has? When you're reading it if you know that for example this is the one that i kind of made this video for but when people tell you that someone dies i feel like that is a very big plot point a lot of the times obviously sometimes it's like at the beginning this person died and then this is afterwards but a lot of the time in a book you're not going to know that someone's going to die in it until you start reading it and several times on goodreads i've actually looked at a book i like to go on there have a quick scroll on the reviews just to see what people star in it, what they're saying about it, why they don't like it, if they don't like it. And several times, kind of recently, I've quickly scrolled and because people put trigger warnings right at the beginning of the thing, it says, trigger warning, character dies. And personally, I think that is a spoiler. It is a big spoiler saying that somebody dies. It's not even necessarily a warning for suicide. It just says that uh, death, character death. And once you know that, you're going to be reading the book and the whole time you're reading it, you're going to be like, so who's going to die? When are they going to die? We know someone's going to die. And then when it happens, you don't get the same emotional impact. You already saw it coming. Maybe it was meant to be some sort of twist, but it's kind of ruined the twist. And this is where I kind of... I'm asking people that are watching this, or not even asking, just suggesting, that people do what I do. Because it is generally Goodreads that I'm talking about in this bit is when you put in the trigger warnings, just put them under a spoiler tag. It's really not doing anything to harm people that want to see the trigger warnings, they can click on the spoiler tag, it's very easy. And then the people that don't want to know things before they go into the book don't have to see them. And I feel like it's best for everybody rather than just 
thinking, oh, people that are going to be hurt emotionally by these need to know. But I also feel like we should think people that know that they're not going to be emotionally impacted in this personally have the right not to know. I hope I've explained that decently enough. I feel like I'm rambling. And this is why I said that I don't like filming discussions, which is funny because I'm making a series out of them. So what about YouTube? We're all here, we're all watching YouTube videos. Obviously people are going to be talking about trigger warnings on YouTube. And for that I feel like it's a lot easier to mute something. If someone says trigger warnings for, you can mute it. You don't even necessarily, a lot of people will say, if they're doing spoilers, they'll say, oh skip to whatever. But with trigger warnings I feel like you can just pause it, mute it, and then it will probably only be trigger warning me for a few seconds, just saying a few words and then you can carry on watching it. So I don't think this topic is as much an issue on booktube. I feel like it's a lot easier to stay away from spoilery trigger warnings that way. Also, I have a spreadsheet where I write down all the LGBT plus books that I own on there. And on there I have a tab for trigger warnings, but it's right at the end, so you kind of have to move the sidebar a bit to get there. So it's there if people want to see it, but hopefully it's not as intrusive of giving you loads of spoilers as it would be if it was like smack bang in the middle. So I feel like that's a good way of doing it as well. I know it's of course a very sensitive topic that if people have dealt with something in their life or just don't want to read about certain topics, but I'm sure we can all agree that a lot of the times character death or suicide or abuse or eating disorders, things like that, a lot of the times they're sort of twists or at least things in the story you find out later on that are meant to happen and be told at that point in the story rather than knowing it before. Maybe it will give you more insight on how somebody's acting, why they're doing that. So for people that don't want to know, I feel like there should be that space for them to not know as well as obviously the more important space. But is it more important space? But obviously the important space for people that do want to know and stay away from it. So my battery is flashing and I've been chatting for ages. Let's wrap this up. So let me know down below all of your thoughts on this topic, whether you've been spoiled for something on Goodreads because of the trigger warnings there, whether you think I'm chatting shit and I'm being horrible to people that have gone through things and don't want to read about them, or whether you agree that maybe we can just throw the trigger warnings under a spoiler tab and it'd be better for everybody so everyone can know the information that they want to know and not know the information that they don't want to know. Let me know down below, I would love to discuss with you guys, this is a discussion after all. Otherwise it's just me chatting shit to the wind and nobody replying, so let me know. If this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, then please check out some of the others. I have a giveaway going on right at the moment, if you're watching this when it comes out, so check that out. And if you continue to enjoy them, please subscribe, that would be awesome. Anyway guys, I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye.